The producers this season, I'm not gonna lie, guys, we gotta give them a round of applause because this season has been giving. This season has been yummy. It's been so yummy, guys. I'm actually excited to even be always talking about this show. It's really giving season five energy, but I'm hoping I don't jinx it now because, yeah. But guys, before I get to this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Y'all already know Road to 20K. All right, guys, Um, let's start off with the episode. So things start off with after the dates. So we see that both Leah and Charlotte both like Zach. And honestly, the the look on Molly's face when they said that he is, um, he's their fave, she looks stressed. Because she's thinking, I don't, I don't pull it all on the line for this guy called Zach. It was just him and I, him and I. But now it might be you, him, and somebody else now. So Molly, he, get it together, baby. But at the same time, she's lucky that he picked, um, that Charlotte picked him at the end because he got, he's going to go back to Molly anyways. But anyways, um, and then also, Leah actually dated Danny from season five. Season five, so your one day season with Arabella, she actually dated him. They were actually in a relationship. They were traveling together and stuff like that, but they broke up and really God knows what happened. So she really, really likes these mixed race guys. And she's, I guess, staying very, very consistent with her preference now. Anyways, moving on, Ty and Zach also like Leah. And then Zach was commenting on her eye contact and how good it is. Guys, what I was trying to figure out was, how do you know? Because when Zach is talking to somebody, he's always talking here, so he will never speak to you, but he's having a full-blown conversation with you, and he's just not talking to you. Like, guys, how odd is it that I'm actually giving my review to my blinds? Like, this is really, really odd. So I'm confused why he knows how good her eye contact is, is because you don't never look. You don't never look. But Zach is definitely going to enjoy himself. Remember, guys, he said, oh, yeah, I'm, why am I going to keep it safe, bro? Like, yeah, yeah, like, anyway, so he's not going to keep it safe. Well, well yeah, whatever. Um, so, yeah. Then the same Zachary, or Zach, not Zachary, Zachariah, sorry. Mm, takes Molly to the terrace and they end up kissing. Guys, I saw it coming as soon as I just, I went, pew, mute, straight, pew mute but then all of a sudden i see catherine so i'm like oh i'm mute quickly so i can hear what she's saying so i guess ruchi saw the kiss and then told catherine because catherine was sat right next to her um and yeah so she saw probably really rubbish to see but i think hopefully that just seals the deal that this man is a complete and utter waste of space in the bin he goes and you don't need that type of stress baby you really really don't um but also mitchell sees and and as a reaction to that, Mitchell stands up and I'm like, oh my gosh, this guy's going to go be a wet wipe. He's going to go drag Molly, da 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 But no, he went to go pull Leah for a chat. So I was thinking, man, he bossed up. Okay, it's giving bad B. Okay. Um, even though I did like that gesture, the nature of the conversation still led me back to my original thought. This man is a wet wipe. He was speaking to Leah, talking about, oh, yeah, when Molly, when the date's finished, Molly went to instantly grab Zach for a chat, and, oh, she sees you as, I think he said competition, or I think he at least alluded to that. And she was like, no, 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 it, it's not giving. You're one trying to badmouth Molly, which is, it's not, it's not as, a, as a woman, that wouldn't give me, like, I don't, I don't like men that do stuff like that. Um, it's giving very much feminine energy. Um... I know that I like it from girls, but I really don't like it from boys as well. And then he was also being super, super forward, saying, oh yeah, I was your favorite day, da, da, da. Now, don't get me wrong, when you like somebody, you wouldn't call that forward, let's be honest. But she doesn't really like him like that. So the way he's being too much, it's not giving. And I think that's gonna be his, that's his kryptonite. He does too much too soon. If he played it cool, he would be more attractive because Mitchell does have chat. I'll give it to him, Mitchell has chat. He does. But um, I think, did she call him creepy? I think she already, or did she, did she call him? I can't even remember, but she really isn't feeling the vibe. And then after Zach finished kissing Molly, it's almost like his face was the exact same face he pulled after he kissed Catherine. I was just like, oh. Zach, please come off my screen. Actually, come off my screen. And then we see Ty and Ella have a conversation. And um, he was basically telling her straight, again, being very, very much so consistent. As harsh as it is, he's being very much so consistent. And he was like, I am going to be speaking to Ella and my mind may change, but... Now, don't get me wrong, Tariq is a savage. I'm sorry. I'm so I can't sit there and entertain this guy. This man is the most unserious guy 
ever. The fact that he's so candid with it is actually quite shocking because I don't see people that be this candid with stuff. I'm just sorry, I'm not really used to it at all. And my battery's blinking, okay? Let me hurry up now. Um, da -da 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 -da. Okay, then we see Molly and Mitch. So Molly comes down stairs after kissing Zach to go and tell Mitch that she kissed him. Guys, when she told him, it was almost like she was talking to a girlfriend and telling her the tea. Like, that's what he gave. Like, it's so weird. They went from, like, being into each other and kissing in, in, in bed, and now she's, like, updating him on this on her relationship status with Zach. I, thought, I, I found that very, very, very strange, honestly. It, it was... I found it highly strange. It was absolutely ridiculous. I, I would be like, why are you coming to tell me this? But I guess it's been because she's so... I, like I guess I guess in her saying that that was probably her way of saying that like there's nothing to do here like we are, we're doing nothing she was like oh we're progressing in our relationship things are moving forward so and I'm glad Mitchell didn't get upset about that because realistically speaking that ship has herself now moving on Ty and Ella have a conversation not Ella Leah I'm gonna get these girls name mixed up so if I do you know who I'm talking about um, Ty and Leah end up having a conversation and Leah, I'm not going to lie, she's thirsty for, for, for Tyreek. She is thirsty, dehydrated, gagging. Guys, say with me, gagging for some Tyreek, honestly. He was like, oh, maybe you're going to be my test. And she was like, oh yeah, I'll be your test. What kind of test is that? What's your criteria? What's the marking scheme? My girl, bye! Like, she is so happy to be in a mix-up. Um, and I was quite shocked by that but I was just like okay to each his own and then Ella is here looking and Ella was like oh he's proper staring in her eyes go where else is he supposed to look when you talk to someone you're supposed to look in their eyes so I think she's just everything he's doing if he breathes too hard in her direction is problem so that's just where Ella is at with this situation point blank period um because I'm trying to think where else is he supposed to look honestly and then Tariq was cheeky because I know, but also Leah, Leah knows exactly what she's doing. She was like, oh, my dress is so short. I have to keep on pushing it down. So Tariq being a wandering eye, a wandering man, someone that's just curious, he said, oh, stand up and show me your outfit. He said, 12, baby. He said, 12, 12, 12, girl. He said, 12, yeah. And the girl spoke twice and really gave him a good look of what the outfit was giving because she said it was short. So she wanted to show him how short it was. Okay. Um, and Ella was looking and she felt so disrespected by it. Now, when he's saying he's going to talk to people, guys, like, um, Ella, I'm trying to figure out what you think he's going to do. Like, he's not having conversations about whether the sky is blue or not, or what's the square root of, you know what I mean? I don't know. Um, George, you come in and tell us. <laughs> That's the type of conversations he's having. So, of course, he's going to be flirting. Of course. So then after his conversation, Tariq goes to Ella and a bunch of other people and he sits down and Ella's face is screw up, turn up. It's just, she's just irritated. She looks upset. So Tariq is trying to ask her, what's up? And he was like, whoa. And she was like, whoa. And he was like, whoa. And she was like, I was like, guys, what the heck? What is, what's going on now? What is going on? Like, it was actually so ridiculous. The pair of them are actually so ridiculous. And I know they're going to give us good TV, guys. I, 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 just, I, I, just, I just know it. Um, and he was actually honest and told Ella that the reason why she twirled is because I asked her to. She was like, you asked her to do what? Guys, Tariq needs to go where? In the beam. Guys, I'm sorry. Even though he's honest, this man, he's actually something else. And that's the thing is, we want honesty. Everyone wants honesty. And he's giving us honesty, so I don't even... I'm going to have to take him out of the bin quickly, actually. I'm going to I'm have to pull him out quickly. He ain't been in there for too long, so I'm going to have to snatch him back out. But he was being super, super honest. And he was like, you're looking fuming. Why are you looking um, fuming? Like, And then Ella almost didn't even want to say something. So I think... I understand she wants to sh show a brave face, but at the same time, you're moving so aggy that you might as well say something. At this point, you might as well say something. And then um, when they have a conversation somewhere else... He knows, like, he's trying to pull it out of her that there's an issue. Tell me what the issue is. And he's saying, and she was like, oh, you're flirting in front of me. Um, and then Tariq was like, what did he, well, let, me, let, me, let me quote him. He said, I'm sorry you decided to come to the kitchen. So he's fully, fully blaming her for what she saw. Because he's saying, you're trying to be a busybody. And sometimes when you're nosy, you, get, you see stuff. You know like when they say you go looking, you go and find something. She found something. And yeah, so guys, honestly, Tariq just confirmed to me, 
after God, you fear man. Period. In that statement, after God, you must fear man because... Arr? No, absolutely not. No, he's saying you pull it on yourself. But then again, I'd still be battling because I'm like, Tariq is moving like an a-hole, but at the same time, he's, he's, he's keeping it real. He's keeping it 100. Can I really blame him, guys? I'm not gonna, I don't think I can. Can she even really be mad? No, because he put her on notice. So she's acting shocked and she wants respect, but he's like, he already told you to your face he's gonna disrespect you. So I can't, I, I, you know what I mean? It's, it's, this is, it's, it's quite of a double-edged sword because the, the, the woman in me, the person in me, wants to be like, oh, he's messed up. But the common sense in me is saying, he told you so. Shh. That's on you, sis. Um, and also, I feel like Ella's feelings are definitely going down. I'm liking it. Let it come down, let it come down, let it come down. And then when they get into bed, honestly, because, again, like I said, after God, you fair man. When they went to bed, um, she was expressing herself again. And then he was like, you're my favorite. Guys, for you to be someone's favorite, that means there's other options. Because if I'm the one and only, I can't be your favorite. I'm just, I'm just the one. I'm everything. But for him to say, you're my favorite, and then she ends up kissing him, she is going to get sucked into this hole. This is giving toxic relationship to the fullest. Guys, this cat is actually going to be lit. This cat is going to be sucked. Because if this is what's happening, we, the beginning of week two, what do we have to come? Guys, think about it. What do we have to come? A madness, an absolute madness. Um, and even so, I'm trying to think, Ella, what do you expect from a guy that said he's done slept with over 100 girls? What are you expecting? Because the bar should be in hell. The bar is in hell when it comes to Tariq. Sorry. Have, low, have no expectation. And then, again, now moving on. Molly and Tariq. Not Molly and Tariq. What am I talking about? Molly and Mitchell are in bed. And then I feel like they became besties. Talking about doing that friendship couple and stuff like that. Guys, I'm so confused by this relationship or whatever they think they're doing. It's, 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 it's so weird and lame and molly and mitchell need to go where in the bin i'm just not here for it like now they're going to be what besties now they're going to be doing each other's nails really be so serious really be so serious so in the morning and still cried about the situation even though she did kiss Tariq in bed she's still upset because she knows he's running game and she's saying that she doesn't want to be insecure behind him and da -da -da -da. and that's what she needs to keep in mind when she's doing what she's doing point blank period um she actually ends up having a conversation with Leah and then Leah's apologizing Leah has no reason to apologize because you, you're not here for Ella you're here for yourself Whitney is talking about how um, I think, who was it? I think Molly asked her, did anything happen in bed with her, Med Medi? And she was like, I put my head on his shoulder. Winnie, be for real. Winnie, be for real. Guys, Winnie cannot be serious. Winnie is not serious. I put my head on his shoulder. Why is she going to like she's a nun? She don't like this man. She don't like this man. She don't like this man, guys. I don't, Winnie, don't force it, but don't hurt yourself. You don't need to force it, because honestly, when she said that, I was like, girl, why? The door. In the bin. No, not in the bin. I'm joking. But I was just thinking, like, absolutely hilarious. So then they get a text, and Medi and Whitney go on a date. Now, guys, let's really be honest. Nothing is coming from this day, for real. It was cute. The cycling was cute. I feel like Whitney was looking way too cute to be cycling up and down Mallorca. I'm sorry. No, I'm not doing that. Nah, she looked amazing even i love the how all the girls were doing her hair it was it was it, the situation was cute um and literally it was comic relief because honestly why were the frogs getting it on in, in, in the pond and it really was more than what whitney and Medi have to come point blank period the whole thing was ridiculous and even when he was like i think he said that oh remember she said oh make me breakfast and he was like i can't make you breakfast you come down in the afternoon all the time so they were giving comic relief and it's, it was a good, it's a good friendship. It's a good friendship. Let me say that. Tariq calls Leah for a chat in front of Ella. That was a bit savage, in my opinion, because he knows this girl is pressed. He knows this girl is upset. But then Ella can't be serious because Ella was talking about how she can't escape it, but she was in the kitchen. She moved to a different area so she could see Tariq, potentially even hear Tariq and um, Leah's conversation. So Ella is looking for Pepe. Let's be honest, guys. She's looking for Pepe. 
and she's crying again and she's just upset that he's flirting and saying like again she can't escape it you can you can move away but you want to see what's going on and when she just remember he asked for a test he said he wants to be tested and here walks leah the test that's just it he asked and he received so yeah and she was saying oh what would he be like on a night out this time and this is what i'm saying about even when I, with the whole Catherine and zach thing the way he's behaving right now is a telltale sign of the type of man he is, the character he is. I know Love Island is different, it's not real life, but still, there's certain ways people are moving that I would never move because it's just not in my nature. So she needs to open her eyes, and the thing is, she's she got all the cards. She just ain't trying to play the, play her hand. So that's her, that's gonna really be her business when push comes to shove. Ty and Ella end up having a conversation, and initially they sat in silence for a couple seconds, and then they started talking. And she's just stressed out and upset. And honestly, Tariq is really a king gaslighter. He was trying to say, oh, I was upset too. So just because, oh, so Ella was upset, he's upset. Oh, you know, Ella's like, well, you went on two dates and it was hard for me to watch. She was like, oh, and then he was like, oh, you want a date with Sammy? Be so for real, be so, like, honestly, I mean, he's just doing like tit for tat. He's doing tip for tat and he's working because the fact that she even went over back to him and hugged him, you know, like hugged with him, like it's, he's not even dropping my game. He's not even. I don't even think he's really a player for like. Don't get me wrong, he is a player, but he's not got amazing game. The girls are just weak in the knees. I wanted Ella to stand up, but she's weak in the knees, guys. She's really, really weak in the knees. So then they get a text and it's a recoupling, and the boys get to pick. Now the bad bees, the members of the bad bee committee, they were standing holding hands. Love that for them. Now, Whitney and her side effects, and her sound effects, guys. Whitney needs to let me rest with these sound effects because, honestly, she was doing the absolute most. So, we find out that Ella, Ella, no, Leah and Charlotte get to pick first. So, Leah said, and that's what I like about Leah's speech. Her speech was quite confusing. She said, the person she's going to pick hasn't had a chance to open up yet. Now, how would you know that? How would how how on earth would you know that? But then she ended up picking Therese. Oh, the way Whitney behaved, Whitney was holding onto Ella's hand. The way she had to force Ella's hand to let go, to be like, <gasps> Whitney rest. And then she wants Ella to not be crying and to calm down. After your dramatic reaction, now you want her to calm down. Girl, you, you put her up and now you want to calm her down. Be so serious. Whitney is... Very, very unserious. Um, but Ella seems confused. I don't know why she's confused. The girl told you she liked him. Jerry said he's open up. I just don't understand why she's not mentally prepared for this. She needs she needs to because and all the signs are there. Charlotte picked Zach. Zach, um, and even so Tariq looked upset when Leah picks him, which I don't understand why he looks upset because you were flirting with her heavy, so be so serious. Charlotte picks Zach, Ruchi starts laughing. Because she's thinking, Molly, you do all of that, and you're still not coupled up with this guy yet. Now, Charlotte, oh, well, Zach didn't seem happy at all. He didn't even hug her, didn't stand up, didn't do anything. So, yeah, Charlotte's going to go to him soon. Um, and again, it's not about her age per se. It's like she don't, she's, also what she's looking for, these people are not looking for. These people can't, they don't, can't even get into a relationship longer than five minutes. We don't even have any, any potential couples for real yet. And we, a week two. By now, we would have seen a little some some. I don't know who's going where. Things are changing every five seconds. So, if Charlotte is looking for a husband, this ain't the show for her. Period. This is not it. With all these little men, nah, this ain't it. This is really, really not it. Um, so, yeah, I thought Zach was kind of rude for not at least hugging her or acknowledging her. I thought that was kind of rude. But he's rude anyway, so we move. Andre picked Catherine, and he said, we have unfinished business. That better be the first and last time I hear unfinished business this, this season, point blank period. Um, and I just love that Catherine and Ruchi were smiling at each other before Andre picked Catherine. So I feel like they have an understanding, and yet Catherine's a girl's girl, and Ruchi didn't have to be upset because she saw it come in, and she's had communications with both of them. So I love that for them. Mehdi picks Whitney, Sammy picks Jess, and then instead of Mitch to pick Ella, he picks Molly. He's such a wet guy. Oh, from day one, it was always her. We have instant connection. Blah, blah, blah. Like, shut up. You've already been moved to the side. You've been pushed to the side and you're still there like a puppy dog waiting for a bone. Are you not embarrassed? Are you not embarrassed? I'm embarrassed for him. I'm telling you, I've got the secondhand embarrassment because 
What are you actually doing? Zach looks all upset, as if you care. She was being coupled up with Mitchell. You were still getting to know her. So you're still going to do the same thing anyway. So I don't really understand why he looked like he cares. Anyways, the, the twist now is that Ruchi and Ella are in the bottom. And now the Islanders need to pick someone to save. So one will be going home. Ruchi, your bags need to be packed ASAP Rocky. Ella's story is not over. We still have a lot to see. We need a lot of drama to see. If Ruchi's here, cool. If Ruchi's not here, cool. It makes no difference. And it's not like I dislike her, but the villa doesn't change if she's there or not. But it will change if Ella's, if Ella goes. And we can't be doing what we did last year with Zara. We can't be letting big characters go early. It's just not happening. So, Ruchi babes, it's been real. But, guys, thank you for watching this episode. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You know, I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.